in 1946 at the steps of the old Cancer Institute building, now the Philippine Cancer Institute in Padre Fawa, a group of young intellectuals gathered daily after classes. The respect and high esteem among them led to deeper camaraderie and kinship. Through the persuasive prodigies and exhortations of Professor David Theo David Wico, and on that historic and monumental date of July 14, 1946, the UP Beta Sigma fraternity was born. Jesus R. Jaime was the charter president. Right from the start, the Brotherhood of Scholars had impact as many. Rico A. Aranz, Jr. bagged the gold medal in the first inter-fraternity sorority oratorical contest. He was the third president of the fraternity. And on the 13th of August, year 1950, the UPLB Beta Sigma fraternity came into existence. Through the years, the Beta Sigma became an unparalleled name. Brads from almost all chapters controlled their respective student councils and campus activities. On top, academics-wise, and later on, successful career men. Among its products is Horacio Boy R. Morales, from a young TOYM awardee to Secretary of Agrarian Reform. Victor Ramos was Secretary of Environment and Natural Resources. The fraternity's early years of existence attracted big names who later on in their lives would occupy sensitive government posts. I'd like, I'd like the, the brothers to know that uh, I've always been proud of the fraternity. It's an inspiration for me. So we'll try to do something, do our share in helping the country and helping the world. But All the things that I learned from the fraternity would later on guide me. Pilipinas kong minungot siya Ugat ng luha ko talika The name Johnny Shuten was an institution. I started the Vida uh, Sigma School of Martial Arts. Noli Nolasco took off where Johnny left. In the mid-70s, broads from all chapters in the metropolis held their summer sessions in a house in Campanilla Street, New Manila. Basics were taught as well as street fighting. With the help of our allies in the Black Secrets, resident brats are being trained in the art of Tai Chi. There were occasions when brats from all chapters in Greater Manila met. The late Eliasar Eli Santiago conceptualized the series of concepts, folkways. These galvanized the ties and bonds that pre-existed among brides. The intermingling was the jump-off point for the formation of the Beta Sigma Philippines. And officially, the Beta Phil took off for a good start. At first, the fusion of chapters involved only those in the University Belt area and Metro Manila chapters. The Beta Sigma Fraternity Alumni Association officially became the umbrella association of all alumni associations in the Philippines. Provincial chapters came up booming under bigger and larger geographic units. From the northern provinces down farther to the south are the provincial assemblies. Through the years, the Beta Sigma fraternity has produced rare breed of men whose vital contributions have added to the development and progress of our country. In keeping with its tradition of excellence, the fraternity brides now find themselves at the apex of success in their chosen fields of endeavor. I think some of these things that I'm giving back to the fraternity is more compared to what the has given me. Oh, looking back, I, I, I told myself, if it were not for the Beta Sigma, would I have been what I am today? So, kahit na ang hirap ng trabaho ng being editor-in-chief of the Bicol Universitarian and chairman of the Student Council, hindi ko binitawan yun because we wanted Beta Sigma to corner all the key positions in the school. I feel that uh, the Brotherhood 
camaraderie among uh, Tibetans uh, is really very sincere and uh, true and inspiring. I joined the club in uh, 1967, Siliman University. The fraternity has really changed my life. The love of God, His bountiful blessings. I was uh, initiated as Beta Sigma in, uh, the, in the Far Eastern University in medical, medical chapter. Our brats in uniform are performing honest-to-goodness jobs. As a police officer, the qualities of the fraternity had instilled to me to perform my job better. Nang mapasok ko at maging isa akong Beta Sigma, isa lang ang natalim sa isip ko ang mabilis na desisyon at uh, pagiging alerto. And their counterparts in the Americas are superb as well. Beta Sigmans never really run out of adrenaline. No matter how busy they are with their careers, serving the fraternity remains foremost. The spirit is getting stronger every day, keeping abreast with modern and sophisticated communications. In Northern America, all the chapters are integrated into the Federation. Each chapter complement each other. In fraternity balls and other grand celebrations, brads from all over congregate at the site. On behalf of uh, Canada, I would like to invite you for next year's uh, Canadian ball. Laking bagay ito ito. Malaki ang pinagsamahan ng mga betans. Kaya kung nandito kayo sa Amerika, may kailangan kayo sino nga hanapin? Si Aboy. <laughs> Here in the States, I say I'm living a life of a better segment for life. One of the uh, things na I've done in my life that I don't regret is joining better segments. The continuous pride in the fraternity is going on. Uh, we always meet uh, every weekend, almost. We are truly one in the spirit. And when you see your brothers in the fraternity, it just uplifts you. Tremendously. If you masarap talaga makisama ang mga brads sa Chicago. If you happen to be in the San Diego area, just call me. Uh, mabuhay ang kapatid ng Beta Sigma. Now, here in our motherland is the National Assembly. The officers are untiring, unselfish, contaminating even the most inactive of brads. We in the United States and Canada are ready to help however and whatever we can. And the National Assembly is incising in its efforts to bring changes aimed at maximizing end results for the greater glory of the Beta Sigma fraternity. Our fraternity has gone various transition through the passing of the years. Every Beta Sigma desire to see the day when peace and prosperity reign in our country. We will achieve this for the Beta Sigma fraternity is the brotherhood without borders. Mabuhay ang kapatiran Beta Sigma. It is our strength. And only one thing is sure to remain. The undying zeal of a Beta Sigma.